At the time of the original 16, only one man to a cell. You can hear, by the way, that it's echoing. It's a very hardened surface, stone floor, stone ceiling, very little furnishing in here, and cold. We don't think the heating system was working at the time. And indeed, some objectors would take off their military uniform, so they would lie here cold under a blanket. Through the walls, they would hear the voices of other objectors. They would gradually get to know each other. There's even a story of passing a chessboard through the hole in the wall. Uh, and they became a great fraternity, uh, these 16. I think playing off each other's stance and strength to become quite a close-knit band. For the Richmond 16 and for other uh, strident, conscientious objectors during those months of May to July in 1916, they're recording very personal messages, so we might have images of uh, their fiancé or their mother, quite strong political messages, real expressions of faith, uh, extracts from the Bible, sections of, uh, of favourite hymns, and it is a very difficult stance that they're taking, they're not only against the military personnel at Richmond Castle, but they work against a whole sort of pro-war stance, a sense of doing one's duty, of going to war and being part of this glorious expedition. And really, this is the first time that military authority has been challenged in this way.